Okay. Do you want to hop on, Caleb? Yes, man. Alright, what's up? Yes. Well, I said to Musket, oh, good luck, and he's like, whoa. I'm like, what do you think of that? I feel like he doesn't, he's saying he doesn't need luck. That's what that gives me. I think he's going to need all the luck he can get right now. I think Catherine's on a on a loser's run. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see Catherine win. But that set with Liam was actually pretty good in my opinion. Honestly, yeah. I was like really hoping that Lemons was going to do something like more than just like that one game. But yeah. hmm, it is what it is. I feel like towards the end, Liam kind of got frustrated. Yeah, he's not like, he's not more that experienced in the tail end of the bracket. I mean, he shouldn't really be too surprised because he doesn't play that, the game that way. No, exactly. Can't be that mad. And he's still, like, pretty good for how little he plays. Catherine's starting off pretty well, though. It's going to be a matter of, like, how well she can handle the musket buttons. Because, oh, that's death. Yeah. Muscat kind of knew Catherine was going to go to the ledge there, so... The oh, shit! That up ahead! Oh, good pressure! And another up ahead! How are these missing? How are these missing? Just, like, slightly off, and it makes a huge difference. There we go! Is that a stock? As if! Yeah, Fox's up B is really good. Come on! This... I've never seen a Fox lift a 150 against Peach on this stage. Oh, yeah. just down smash now. Like, stop the Oh no. Yes, there we go. That wasn't too bad. At least it's only 40%. So like, Moscat knows Catherine's just gonna throw out moves, hoping. Like, she just dies. He just dies eventually. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good tech chase, but I'm so sad that it happened like that. Still in it though, but Catherine's getting caught hold down, holding down against muskets down. There we go. There Catherine, we go. Nice. Catherine does that down smash a lot when she thinks you're gonna shield drop or just fall through the platform. She got muskite with it there. You have to smash the eye those. Catherine can like get into the air safely and then like fade an aerial onto a platform and then down smash. She could like have a really good chance at this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just like try to bait him. Yeah, because I think you can actually bait Musket to try and do aggress the platform yeah. really well. Uh, but that's gonna do it. When I play Musket in friendlies, I usually have the most success like, baiting him into things. Getting into the second game. That was a really good up to it. Oh, damn. That was really impressive how Musket, like, refreshed. Yeah. I feel like he could have got it as well if he just, like, timed it. Yeah. Oh, yes, the trade. Oh, he, how did he get away with only one hit on that? I'm, uh, I'm a little upset, actually. I feel that, like it shouldn't have happened like that. Fox, right? Yeah, but usually the parasol hits more than once there. But he was just really well spaced. Oh, my God. Must, oh. Oh, no, that was oh my disgusting. fucking god, that was actually insanely good. <laughs> what but the fuck? To be fair, Catherine should have tried to like smash the aisle. At least make it kinda hard. That was insane. The rare musky infinite. Oh 
Oh my god, he's just wiping the floor right now. He just knew when Catherine was gonna jump out of shield and just have the jump smash. There we go. Catherine's finally got something here. Back air that, is gonna get tacked. That was a situation to do like the McLeod Edge guard where you drop down in air and trade. Yeah, yeah. You can easily do it against foxes up here because of the, uh, the hitboxes. Yeah. McLeod like tells me that like, every day. Ah. Uh, <laughs> See, I'm surprised he's not here today. It's, uh, I, I think he's busy doing something. So that's fair. Okay. Uh, well, that's gonna do it though. Team two to musket. Anthony Musket. Musket. No, wait. Anthony Musket Musket. There you go. Yeah. He's too strong. This is bullshit. I mean, plays Catherine at once. <laughs> Not much you can do, really. Can't, can't really be surprised. At the moment, Catherine's getting owned by, like, these full hops during Musket's pressure. If she can find a way to, like, do a rising nair to challenge it, we can see a little more hesitance from Musket, but like, he's too clean. Oh my god, sick confirm. Yeah, but then the forward throw is a bit, probably not. Yeah, not at that true. percent. Yes. Yes. Nice. That's a stop. Grab the ledge. Yeah, well, oh, we're good, we're good. No, I was worried, was a, I was really was fucking bit, worried. That was a bit sus, but she got it. Oh, the reed was there! Let's go just putting on a masterclass of shines on Peach. Oh no. Does that up smash again, reading Catherine just drifting into the ledge. Catherine really needs an answer to these all these shines. Yeah. Oh no. This is look like, looking like a quick 3 -hour. Very brutal. Yeah. This is the most brutal losers finals I've, I've witnessed. Oh! He's got something side though. Catherine with a second lease on life. Getting that second wind. He's actually playing like a bit more active, a bit more aggressive. Yeah. I, like, oh, I feel like you can shield after that dare. I liked that up there she went more, but it didn't really work out. It's just reading Monska jumping out of Oh, that is actually it though. A 3-0 to Anthony Musket Musket. Alright, it's time for El Clasico. Jesus fucking is, it, is this going to go to set 2? I don't know. I don't really mind either way though. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Game 10. I always like watching you guys. Alright. So. Let's fucking go.